So you want to buy a used side-by-side. -side. I bought this used 2014 Wildcat X. It's 1000 cc, four-wheel drive, sport ATV, had a roof on it, and uh, it looked a little bit rough, but I thought I was getting a pretty smoking deal on it. And uh, so realized that I wish I would have spent a little bit more money a couple thousand dollars more and I would have got a much nicer ATV, UTV. But um, anyway, I so I did license it or registered it in Wisconsin. Um, so far I put, in, put two new tires on. One of the wheels was cracked and uh, they had put sealing in it to try to stop it, the slow leak. Well, that, so that was pretty expensive. It had a roof on it. Um, so I'm trying to get it, right now I have all the shocks off of it getting rebuilt because they're kind of bagged out. I'm going to have to put a new belt on it. Um, so I have a spare. My kids and I are going to Tennessee uh, down to Hatfield, or West Virginia to the Hatfield McCoy Trails to ride coming up here this next October. So I want to try to get it ready. I bought a jack mount. Also have up in here I bought a nice belt mount. I don't know if you can see that very well. For a spare belt so i'm going to put that in there um vehicle's not in bad condition it's just not been taken care of so i had um front end aligned i changed the fluid in both axles or both differentials i'm sorry and uh, i'm going to, have to put some new tires on the rear yet um, you know one of the fenders is a little bit bagged out i may change that i may not it's kind of beat up a little bit if i can find a nice used one Anyway, so we're just kind of getting this thing, trying to get it ready to go and uh, ready for our trip to West Virginia. It's a good looking machine, just hasn't had care. So I'd recommend if you guys are looking to buy anything used like this, that you just really consider buying something in some really probably better condition. The one big issue with these Wildcats is this, this front end, um, the steering components. The rack and pinion is just very poorly made in these. And so there's a, not sure, I'll have to try to include a link. There's a, a guy named AJ who rebuilds these front rack and pinions. There's a couple parts to it. And uh, it's probably about $1,500 for a really solid rebuild that's going to last a long time. But, uh, but anyway, so um, that's just the... Uh, what we got going so far, I'm going to try to do some more videos. Hopefully somebody will find something here that they can use or that they like. Got my one of the old front tires. I'm, I'm having the old rim welded up for the spare so I can have a spare to take along. It's going to be a great, great journey to West Virginia. I just can't wait. We don't have a lot of money, so we're kind of doing it piece by piece, trying to get it all done this winter so it's ready to roll for this summer and spring we ride a lot black river falls and uh anyway hope you like it and uh we'll do a few more videos of kind of getting it geared up to go i like to do a light bar um again a spare tire mount just i just want to get it mechanically sound so it's really a reliable uh vehicle i'm going to do a windshield and a back window um, maybe some harnesses don't know yet but uh anyway so hope you enjoyed the video and uh I would love to hear about any of your side-by-side -side projects. So, thank you.